<laughs> okay, so just now, as I said, the AAA companies, I'll say the learning point is when you learn from them, when they teach you what to do. And the other one is get your hand dirty. But when you get your hand dirty, that one no guarantee what you learn. And also, the demand for quality is not as high as the one with the mentor. Because the AAA company, they are actually competing with other game companies. Smaller ones, they are actually more concerned of surviving and business. Okay, so you learn different things in different companies, but of course, most people want to go to AAA. Because you're talking about high quality work. In fact, they only accept you if your quality or portfolio is high. If your quality is not that good, forget about it. They won't let you in. So far, Bandai Namco never let anyone go in before. Because they have standard very high. Okay, Japanese sometimes have a very, very high standard. Oh, you must go to Japanese. I see. Okay, so, yeah. okay, so now there's a gauge. So that's why this module is a starting preparation. It's a series of build up to that stage where you go into an internship. And after that, you get employed. Okay, what else can you think of? Personally, let's talk about personally, what do you want to achieve? Maybe as a career or maybe in the near future. What other good points do you think this module can help you also? Social skills. Social skills. Um, that is debatable. Okay, I will say every lesson will help you with social skills when you do presentation and interact, but not just this module. But it's still uh, one of the valid points. Huh? What else? Time management, correct. Vertical slice, to do a vertical slice, time management is important. So here you learn how to manage yourself by doing things in small chunks to build it up throughout the whole module. But of course, usually uh, this one whole module, what you do, is what your seniors can achieve in half a day. You have one module. So for a start, this is, I will say, all right, because you're still building up. But once you reach year three, you're expected to finish it in half a day or a day. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get that. Half a day as in then you get the half a day? Yeah. Uh, and then they don't get to go some more. Uh, About 12 hours. Uh. <laughs> it's very fast actually, very fast. 12 hours you can finish a prototype, it's very fast. In fact, in the industry, that's what people are doing. Very fast prototype. But prototype can be just like any hour do one, right? It's not anyhow good. It's going to be very polished. Right? So you got like your course. Yeah, yeah, Correct. Yeah, yeah. As long as you can sell your course, the core mechanic is demonstrated in the prototype, you are good. <laughs> what are the good points? Means the translating ideas into reality. Translating ideas into reality. Correct. Wow. That's what the vertical slice is meant for. It's a proof of concept. So if you cannot demonstrate your idea in a vertical slice, I'll say that's it. Lah. So yes, you learn how to translate the idea. Of course, that one will be reinforced in Studio One, not this module. Here, we'll teach you the basis of how to get there. Okay, we move on. You want to set your goals for this module? At the end of this module, what do you want to achieve? A, B, C, or whatsoever. Like, yes, sure. What is Why the not? highest of all? Yes. The highest of all is A with distinction. You asked me on the set and I said yes. Sir. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah, yes. Distinction means that you get above, I think, uh, 81 marks. Or 85 oh. marks. Uh, five is that like a distinction <laughs> minus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not necessarily, but must be above 80, 81. Okay, so think for yourself what goal you want to achieve. Okay, some of you maybe you just come here to get diploma, that's it. Some of you want to go in the game industry. Some of you want to go mobile casual, some of you want to go triple A. But end of the day, to reach there, what do you think you should be aiming for for this module at least? Okay, I can tell you some of your seniors are satisfied with a C. Because to them is they think that they're technically not so good and they just want to learn more fundamentals to move on or they are very slow in learning so they are satisfied with the C some are satisfied with B some are, you give them A, they also not satisfied 
okay, what happens when you give them A, they're not satisfied, means that whatever they have gone through in lesson, they want to go beyond that. They do not want to just aim for grade, they want to build portfolio. Okay, so one of the challenge last round I gave them is how do you program a slope? You oh, think trigger not oh, tree. <laughs> so uh trigo, this thing comes back. Man. Okay, so far no one succeeded. Uh, I will prove you right. I won't care, I cannot. <laughs> Actually, I have good news for you. Why? Right, right. So, last round, we use Slash or Animate CC. We oh, use Action Tree. Right. Everything programmed from scratch. This time round, we are using Unity. Unity, Unity the gravity and collision is simply you add component inside Unity, you get it. So you can focus more on the fast rapid prototyping and the design aspect rather than you spend all time trying to program something that is very primitive. Okay, so uh, so far the other classes take about one hour to do it. Uh. Your junior when they do the no, your seniors when they do the action script took them five weeks. So that's a difference in timing. Because Flash is not it's not a, it's not really a game engine. Correct. It is actually just an engine. Correct. Unity is a game engine. Flash is a multi-purpose engine that fits everything. It's not specific for games. So that's why the change this year that you all should use a full flash game engine. Because year two, year three, you also will be using Unity, just that in 3D. Okay, so this goal I need you to think about it. I will actually sit down with every one of you to work through your goals. How do you want to achieve it? Uh, it, and also what the things you need to do to achieve it. Okay, my expectation. The software is very expensive. There's a lot of things inside the software. It's impossible for me to tell you every single function of what, what does it do. So a lot of things I'll teach you just the basics required to do the genre of the game. The fundamentals, the rest you have to experiment and play with yourself. So I give you also a scenario that you are still to play with it. Uh, Terry, have you seen Terry? Terry. Okay, Terry is a programming lecturer. I'll say he is uh, insanely good. He's playing with a lot of VR and AR stuff. So just yesterday he told me he discovered something that Unity did not want to tell people. Whoa. Whoa. So even tutors are always discovering new things. Because there's a lot of things. In fact, last time in Flash I discovered something that Adobe that don't even know. But I used that in making games. It was good. Very fast. Uh, graphics optimization. To an extent that it's so small that it's uh, basically insane. Unity, uh, that one uh, is about how do you merge two scenes together. What? Two scenes. Two game scenes together. Yeah, my scenes really very big. Yeah, but somehow you can integrate perfectly. So that one is undocumented. So end of the day is, I'm encouraging you all to experiment, to play with the software. You will discover things that may be uniquely your skill, your focus. Things that you are proud of and say that, wow, this is a secret technique I know. I'm going to abuse the technique. And this is going to be my secret weapon. That's what makes me unique, my special. And my portfolio, this is something you say that I am capable of doing this that other people usually do. Okay, so have fun experimenting. I am also still playing with Unity right now. Okay, uh, discuss with fellow students. You are not alone. Uh, there's a reason why it's a class love. You can help each other. Like uh, Malcolm share the Unity installer. That one is also to help your classmate. So end of the day, you gain more when you experiment together. Learn together, tell each other what are things like. Also, hopefully because of one tutor to so many. If I were to do consultation for every single of you, right? One person, one hour, you can do the math. Lah. Chances that if the last one, you'll never be your turn. It happened last run for your juniors. Okay, so I need you to, to actually help each other. Peer learning. You actually gain more. And turn up on class. On time. Okay. I stress this again. 
the gun for class on time. Two times. Usually, uh, they say, uh, say seven times so it goes into memory already. Okay, I still got uh, five more times. Okay, third time, turn up for class on time. 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 Seven. Magical seven. Okay, so next time, whoever late, right? I will personally have you sit with me and maybe we do maybe 15 times, 20 times. Isn't that like a, like a privilege? Privilege? Fine. I don't know. 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 Work with the X and Y axis. X horizontal, Y vertical. And Z is the depth. So for beginning, you will not work with Z. You just work with Y and X. Okay, sprites and motion 3D. Okay, uh, for 3D, you can model something, add the bones, and then you can move. But for 2D, you can't really do that unless you have a special program that lets you do that. By default, it's called sprite animation. It's something like uh, stop motion. Any one of you taken stop or have done stop motion animation? Hold it. You've done it. A little bit. Okay? Let's see if you've done it. Okay, just to explain to you what is stop motion. Literally, if I do it in human terms, like that, snapshot, take one picture, take another picture, take another picture. Take another picture, take another picture. Just keep taking picture of all the skills, but you should do it clay lah. You take it already, you put together and form animation. Sprite animation, totally same concept. Only difference is you draw everyone up. For Castlevania, just to let you know, uh, a typical Castlevania animation is about 100 frames. That's mean they draw 100 times for one attack. So this is sprite animation. Okay, versus the other one, motion screening. That one is in anime and in flash. I advise you to do this if you want your card. What happens is in, when you do a tweet is you set the starting frame, let's say this position, and the ending frame another position, and you do a tweet, they'll auto fill in the frame in between. So it's a shortcut. It's good for let's say animating, let's say you want to rotate a square, rotate a star, etc. Instead of drawing out every single rotation, you can do the tweet in anime. CC or flash, and then you export it out PNG sequence as sprites. So that's why you will still need flash for such animation. In fact, special effects animation, you need flash a lot. You draw special effects using sprite, right? You will cry. It's like, how do you ensure the explosion is fast or slow enough and you have to draw the size accordingly? It's almost impossible to gauge just by thinking. So the tweeting actually helps you manage that because you can control the speed. Okay, so it's a combination of software. A typical small team comprised of this designer, artist, user base, in that user interface designer, artist, and a programmer. Typical small team. But you want to expand the team, there's actually more roles. You get to encounter that in year three. Some of the software out there, Construct 2, Game Maker, Unity 3D, and OB Animate. Game Maker used by NYP. And Construct 2 used by Majors. Construct 2 is very simplistic. Once you want to expand and do complicated things, you just cannot do it. For Game Maker, the logic is somewhat uh, flawed. I try it, I almost want to throw my PC off. Simply, when I do the drag and drop for gravity, right, you realize in Unity you can do it within a few minutes. Over there, you drag and drop, it'll take about half an hour. And I do in Flash, I also do two lines, I center. Somehow, in Game Maker, just to do a gravity is insanely difficult. So, that is also why the software is not chosen. So, by Unity. 
Okay, next one, I'm going to go into some basics called the user interface. Okay, so lesson by lesson, actually I'll introduce to you some game components. Okay, this is the easiest to program to actually do prototyping. Okay, uh, you have these slides in your blackboard already. You can refer it whenever you make it. Make this a standard procedure. First screen that comes up is the logo or intro screen. It will have your group logo, your studio logo, and also the publisher logo. Okay, usually the publisher logo, the one who pays you, come up first. Five seconds. Do not ever put a skip button there. Very important. You put a skip button in the publisher logo, I'm not sure next round the project whether you will still get the money or not. So usually the skip button is after the publisher logo, the one that pays you, maybe your own logo and maybe the Unity engine, although you can skip. So usually a rule of thumb, 5 seconds, including animation. Then after the intro, you go to your title or menu screen where you have your logo. Okay, now take note. Huh? Your graphics communication GC in common foundation comes into play. You have learned this about uh, logo and typography, right? Please. Yeah. Please note that this is not just a typography, it is actually a logo. In fact, you look at it, it's very graphical with that and all this thing. This is not a thought package that you can find. It's literally you draw it up. And if you were to use this as a font, you realize it's very hard to read. Because it's not readable, it's strain your eyes a lot. So a difference between logo and typography. So a title, this is always a logo. So your start button, your finish button. Then the next screen, stage select. Your standard casual game. Simplistic stars because why the screen is very small. Imagine this complicated one fit into a small screen, chances you cannot see anything. So usually you use simplistic one. But if you are doing a PC, you can actually do this. And of course, every game has a winning condition and losing condition. Your victory screen, usually bright, sparkly, it's like a celebration of winning. Compared to your game over, gloomy, dark, losing, sometimes accompanied by very sad, depressed music. Final Fantasy like to do it. It's like awesome. Usually Final Fantasy when you do summon die. Like. And uh, some games like, like Angry Bird or maybe some of the mobile games, when you die, it's a wacky kind of music. Like this, yeah, Donkey Kong, Fire Rise. Donkey Kong. So black is the main theme when it's a game over. To contrast with this, bright, colorful, dull, black. And these are the various part of the overhead display. Okay, that one on here is a help bar. That is icon based help. Typically, Zelda is icon based. That means when you do damage, take away one heart. And depends how many heart you left, that's your health. For the purpose of going into more difficult games, in this module, you'll be doing health bar. If you know how to do health bar, the icon is relatively easy to do. Okay. Score. Your high score. You do realize that the score is decorated also. It's not like simply I put a font there and then that's the end of the story. So it's actually quite nice to read. The layout, everything, is actually some typography, I would say, big fundamentals that you need. Not just a simple display of text. Your currency also, icon, logo, followed by or numbers. So actually this is very GC. La. User interface in game is very GC. So please don't throw away your notes. Pick them up. You need them again. Okay, Clive, Clive. Right. Yep. Go back, wait. The top left, right? The health mana bar, right? Yeah. yeah. For what game? Do you know? Uh, well, some of the... 
I think one of the indie games that I don't play. Yeah, for for practical reason, I didn't show any AAA, Alpha. That one is totally very complicated. Shouldn't be any big difference, right? Is it? Yeah. 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 Yeah
with simply how short the player feels. Okay, so just let me uh, iterate this up. Fun, it is not a bonus of games. Fun is a requirement of games. So some of your seniors always say, what is the feature of your game? It is fun. But fun is subjective. Fun is subjective, but fun is a requirement for games. If a game that is not fun, why call it a game? Hey, not all games have to be fun. Yeah, yeah. Like on some like education games then. Okay, that one is called game that fails. Oh. Okay, so in this view, <laughs> educational games, which is the problem because they are never designed to look at fun. They're designed to focus on the content. End of the day it's fun to the people who design it. Which is the next point. Never ever yeah, never the good gauge of the own game design. Because you're so used to it. You are focused on something. You can make the game according to your will. If it's according to your will, of course, you feel shook. The user experience, you enjoy it. But do other people feel you shook? May not be. Example, I like grinding. RPG grinding, always my favorite. But now, if I do an RPG grinding game and I put it out there, you guess what's going to be? People out there, a lot of them hate grinding. Especially Western side, they really hate grinding. But I love grinding. So if can I make a grinding game? You know how they say, like, if I want to give yourself, no. So you, you yourself is never the best game. Okay, so which is the next part? You go to familiarize yourself with the Okay, so uh, I believe I've talked enough for some of your Unity to finish installing. I hope. Okay, let's go to the software. Oh, yeah, for the players, no, I guess nowadays everybody more fun. Let's just cover something. Okay, we want to reference to the fundamentals and also installation guide to the team to guide you all. Yes, the old games there, Okay, I don't expect you all to remember everything. That's why the guide is always for you to refer to. Sorry, you all mean to refer to. Boys! Speaking of seeing in the next video, you can see all screw up. Yeah, sure. more times you will have got it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, before we really do anything in the I need you all to go Google image. Google a sprite a character that you want to use as character and Google maybe some boxes of ground that you want the character to stand on. Okay. First of all, just get your image first. Of course. Okay, I can. My name is. Ah, what? You what? You do? You do? What? You do? You do? Penny Sprite is okay. Yeah, this part is okay. Let me show you my But right, this game is so so special. Sprite. Hey, not this. Can I? I get it. Can I? Sprite. Yes. You can import a sprite as a sprite. A sprite, sprite. <laughs> oh god. Sprite. 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 I knew it, I 
Because we played better thoughts at game start. Yeah, you made it damn far, but then like time was. Yes, because. What? Where the hell you go? I I was like, I was like, I was like, I Parasite E, is it? No, Parasite E is a thing. 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 <laughs> just, just like the part, right? All right, like, oh, right, to bring you there, right? Yeah, because we have to explore. Right? So <laughs> so it's not yeah. 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 Is this a sprite? A sprite? Oh, or just, or you want to go sprite? I knew you were gonna choose Morgan. Huh? Because I was going to choose Morgan. Yeah, I knew you you do not need to really import the actress, right? You can take, take whatever image that you think you want to put in the game. Today, we are just playing with experimenting. Okay, so you are not exactly required to do the actual game yet. But please, no political no jokes no and uh, no religious jokes. Uh. What? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's an experiment. For real, for real. Wait, you said it. We're going to say 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 it. Yeah, we're supposed to say it. Say it. A sprite and an image or just a sprite? Just one sprite. And something as ground. Okay, you need not be a sprite sheet. As ground? Yeah. How about Mr. I'll just use Mr. I'll just use Mr. I'll just use Mr. No, I want to use Mr. Okay, uh, don't take too much time on it. Okay, next thing I'm going to explain to you the window. Okay, in one file that, is, that you have in Blackboard is Unity fundamentals that one tell you the workspace and how you organize it, but I'm going to do some of the so called commonly used one here. Okay, over here you see this hierarchy tab. This is very important. Whatever things that you import into Unity on the stage will be added to hierarchy. This is where you can select things and then change properties. Okay, and also this thing, assets, very very important. Your assets is where you store all the things that you import. So you can simply drag and drop a picture into the asset. Like this, I drag and drop this asset. And then I modify its properties under here called inspector. So Inspector is actually a property screen and scene here is where the game working, I would say the working view is displayed. Over here there's this uh, tab called game. This is your game view. It's tagged to your camera. So whatever is shown on the camera is shown over here. This one is a working view. It's meant for you to work. It's not tied into your camera view. You can rotate and do whatever you want. Over here, you see this icon or what you call to be. If you want to click on it, you realize now you do the perspective form. So for 2D, 3D, they're working only with the 2D mode. 
sprites. Okay. So now I need you to drag your sprites into your assets window.
three one, you get the whole scene. Okay, then, 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 like, like, if you want to post something, you're going to edit the photos. You have to edit the photos. Yeah, 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 then edit the photos. Okay, basically, I think you added a background, not a ground. What? You Okay, you see what happens to the character. 
So once the box collider is in 
place, now you play, the character will fall and land on the ground. Okay, Royce, you are lucky. Okay, things from the assets. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, everyone, can I have attention please? This is a crucial concept. Things in your asset is something like in your library or in Doraemon case, inside his infinite dimensional pocket. <laughs> it exists, but it's not in the real world. When you put it out in a new world, it has to have a property, then you give the property to this. So when you take out another item or same thing, you put it in the real world, you can give it another property. So the same thing, when you drag it out from the dimension, you can have different properties behaving differently. So that's why you can't apply it to the one inside the dimension because it doesn't exist in the real world yet. So you give your properties, also no use. Okay, so only properties on the screen when you click on it and you add on this. And add this. Now, Maybe something you all want to play about. I'm going to rotate this guy, this ground, over here using this tool here. Now let's see what will happen. I think, I think this is very interesting. But you all want also there will be something happen because uh, you did not know the cable on He fell nice! Whoa, was that? Okay, <laughs> your character when it drops on something slanting, it actually topples, right? Yeah. Okay, because that one is not locked. Over here, under rigid body of the character, I put here freeze rotation on the Z, so it will not rotate. But if you don't have that, it will fall and then there's a physics. <laughs> so if I uncheck this constraint, freeze rotation and I play, chances that I'll get the same thing. Okay, I'm tumbling down. Yes, I'm tumbling down. Uh, so for character to control your character, usually you have a freeze rotation. from up, from up. So he's there for Then he just slide. Now add the 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 origin point. Oh, you click on the bracket. Yeah. Maybe more. This is true. No, because uh, you need to add uh what uh box slider. Yeah. Yeah. Box slider. Okay. Uh... 